Now we've got the last four questions and we take a 10 minute break. Don't worry, you can relax, go outside the terrace, but don't jump from there. We are on the fourth level now. So please don't jump from there. I don't want to do IELTS, I'm going, okay? Yeah, goodbye IELTS. Uh, questions 37, 38. Now listen, uh, for these questions, they give you five options or five statements and you have to decide which two statements are correct according to the passage. So the first thing is when you read the question, you need to find the spot in the passage or the paragraph in the passage that has the answer. For example, let's do it together, 37, 38, choose two letters, which two statements are true? Now it does not mean it's true, false, not given. Okay guys, so we read the question statement. Which two statements are true for both the supermarket and voice experiment? So we will find a part in the passage where they talk about supermarket and voice experiment. Please come back. Page number 185, first paragraph, third line, you can see the word supermarket. Found it? Okay. Supermarket. Mil na sabko? Now, second paragraph, there you will find three pairs of voices. Got it? Three pairs of voices. It means in these two paragraphs, we have the clues. Right? Now, one way is to read about supermarket and then see which option. And there will be only one option that matches with supermarket. So, let's just do this. We skim through it. Uh, page 185, first paragraph, invited supermarket customers to sample two different kinds of jams and teas. Got it? Uh, after participants had, taste, uh, had tasted or smelled both samples, they indicated which one they preferred. Subsequently, they were uh, purportedly given another sample of their preferred choice. On half of the trials, However, these were samples of non-chosen jam or tea. As expected, only about one-third of the participants detected this manipula uh, manipulation. Now, manipulation was detected by only one-third of the participants. Now, for example, they gave them a jam and they said, which jam do you prefer? I prefer this one. And then they changed it trick trickily. Only some people identified the change. Otherwise, they were all blind to that. Right? So, this thing and based on these findings, Hall and colleagues. Now, let's go back. Option A. I'm back to questions 37 to 38. The researchers focused on a non-visual material. Yes or no? We have to select one now. Option B. The participants were asked to explain their preferences. Option C, some of the choices made by participants were altered. Altered means change. They selected a jam and then they changed that jam. So, C is the right answer for the first one. Okay. Now, we go to pair of voices because you know it's about supermarket and voice experiment. So, page 185, second paragraph. Recently, the phenomena has also, and then three pair of voices. I'm on third line. Please follow me. Page 185, second paragraph, third line. Three pair of voices and decide for each pair which voice they found more sympathetic or more criminal. The voice was then presented again. However, the outcome was manipulated for the second voice pair and participants were presented with the non-chosen voice replicating the findings by Hall and colleagues, only 29% of the participants detected this change. Now go back and see if it matches with anything. From A to E and C is already taken.
keep in mind they focused on the voice only sympathetic voice or criminal voice so that is a well done non visual material voice is not something that you can see you can hear it so that is non visual material for question number 37 38 the right answer is a and c so on your answer sheet you will write 37 a 38 c or you can write 37 c 38 a but it's better to write in order that's better let's do the last two questions questions 39 to 40 which two statements are true for the psychology experiment conducted by uh, merkel bach jellesis and peter uh, peters see that we've got it in the second last paragraph Merkel Bach Jellesis and Peters are you there now just skim through it i give you 1 minute and then tell me which two options are right Okay guys so which two options option b for boy and d for doctor all right the right answer is option b the participants gave each symptom a 1 to 5 rating because they have already mentioned on a 5 point scale 5 point scale means 1 to 5 uh the second option is e for elephant the researchers focused on the strength and regulatory of symptoms strength and regulatory of symptoms that is mentioned in the last four lines this time more than half 57% of 28 participants were blind to the symptoms uh, rating escalation and accepted it as their own symptom intensity rating so this demonstrates that blindness is not limited so its researchers focused on strength and regulate uh, regulate regularity of symptoms these two are the right answers okay